to Art and Life. I'm here in the beautiful Grampians at the art studio of James McMurtry. James has grown up on farms in the area and influenced by his family's love of art and used his hands to create all of this beautiful artwork that's inspired by being here in the Grampians. And I have a question for you, James, and that is, I wanna know your thinking on the value of art in your life. Obviously, this is what I do for my living. It's my lifestyle. I make a lot of different sort of glass. Some, some of it's to be used production-wise, and some, some are art pieces. Like these are more like my art sort of work. It's a good lifestyle for me because I can work my own hours and and think about what I'm going to make for my art in a in my own time. And my surroundings are beautiful, being next to the Grampians, and so I'm pretty influenced by just my local surroundings. Um, and I'll just interpret what I see and feel into my glass by way of colour and shape and form. I work with my partner Christina, so she has quite a bit of input into it as well. So, yeah, we're basically um, a good team and we interpret what we do into what we make and, and we like to, for people to use our work as well. So we do make a lot of bowls and, and they are artistic and um, they're you know, they're, they're beautiful objects to use and or just to have in your house. Yeah, it's just a way that I can um, interpret what's around me into what I'm making and um, and it makes me a living, which is a bonus. So pretty good. Mm. And can I ask you also, what do you think the value of art is to the broader society? Um, I think it would differ for everybody, but... Um, from my point of view, with especially with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, art is a is a bright, you know, or not always, but in my sense, it's it's a bright piece of work that um, adds a bit of colour to your life. Um, that can also be um, put in a put in a setting where you can enjoy it. Um, so I just hope it gives people a, a bit of enjoyment, really, with the uh, with the colour and um, and the objects, and and it's also you know people can interpret art in lots of different ways. So it's everybody's going to have their own um, interpretation of a piece, um, whether it's good or bad. You don't have to like it. Some people like some pieces, some don't, and and that's fine. Um, as long as it gets some sort of reaction, I think it, it's good. Um, yeah, I, I, it's just a yeah, it's just a good release too for people that want you know to see something different in life and you know go to a gallery and and um, take their time and you know contemplate what's going on with their life in the world. And yeah, I think it's um it's a very um, important part of our society. If we didn't have it, I think. It'll all be pretty, pretty boring, and mm, I say I think it just brings enjoyment to people mainly, and I hope it does. It does to me, so yeah. yeah. So that's that's the other thing I enjoy about being an artist is being able to work with other artists, and um, I have some very close friends. For example, this one um, was made for an exhibition at Montsalvat, um, so it was a an exhibition that was related around the COVID. So my friend Angela Nagel, she's a ceramic artist. She's down in uh, Warrandyte. So we got together and, and made collaborative pieces, um, which is really good fun. And it just pushes the boundaries a bit. And, um, and that, what I was saying before about um, making, making colour in people's life, this, this piece was about that. It was, you know, the worried, the worried person with the COVID, but the other side was all the colour and the, you know, the joy that's still in life. So, and I've, I'm doing some um, other work with another sculptor at the moment, Donald Malloy Drum, who makes beautiful metalwork. So I think the glass and the metal and the glass and the ceramic, it just opens up a whole other field, which is really enjoying. I really enjoy doing that. It's good. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yep.